All right, guys, I'm working on this hammer real quick. I got a little bit of time. It's uh, the wood is splitting and cracking, and it's got a pretty good little. It's splitting all the way through, and then they looks like they hit it here and cracked it. And they had tape wrap. I want to save the handle, and I can't find any handles. What I'm going to do first, I'm going to sand this, then. I'm gonna take some wire and I'm gonna wrap it with wire. Uh, as I'm doing it, I'm gonna epoxy the wire on. I know back in the day they used to they used to fix a lot of the, the old timers during the depressions, uh, during the depression era, they fixed shovels and stuff with wire when they broke their chisel, when they broke their uh, picks and axes and shovels and things like that. They they wrapped them. But I think what I'm going to do first, I'm going to sand it, then I'm going to coat this with some linseed oil and then wrap the wire. Oh well, I'll show you. Alright, while I'm at it, I'm going to go ahead and put some linseed oil on this uh, uh, axe handle. Really, really probably don't need to do this, but this wood is so dry. Man, it's dry. You can see it's tearing my, my gloves, that nick in it. That's weird, they epoxied. So this is not as old as I think it is. Oh well, thought it was old, I guess not. I wish they put this stuff in a can that you can get it out easier. For one, what makes you mad is the uh, the can, it's harder to open than a bottle of medicine. What the, what's the problem with that? Stupid. Got to open this can with a screwdriver and then Let this soak in for a day or two. I don't. I gotta go to work tomorrow, so I can't uh, can't work on anything. By the time I get home from work, I'm usually my day is spent. I barely get time to eat and sleep. All right. Let that sit. Let that sit. You know what? While I'm here, let's uh, give a little bit more to these hammers I got right here. Did this? Did this not long ago? Supposed to do it on your birthday month. I've already done it once, so just a little extra going to See if I've got any more. Yeah, I got one more here that I can do real quick while it's here. Sorry, guys. I don't know if I'll put this in the video or not, but what the heck? It can't hurt. All right, ladies and gentlemen, that's it for the night. I'm done. I'll uh, show you what I'm talking about wrapping that tomorrow, or not tomorrow the third or fourth day from now. Bye.
All right, guys, I'm working on this hammer again. I don't know if I showed you guys or not, but I've linseed oiled this thing for now. I'm on my second week, and the handle was, is dry and splitting. It's cracked. The See, it's cracked right there. Well, I remember my dad doing something when I was a kid, and I wasn't, you know, when you're a kid, you're not paying attention. He wrapped wire around, but I'm not sure how he did it. And I went online just looking at some videos, and I, I swear my dad used epoxy or something thereof. Anyways, doesn't matter. What I'm planning on doing is I'm going to drill a hole, set this here in the hole, bring the wire down, and then wrap back up over it and then set it right beside it. That makes sense? No. I'm either wasting my time or it's going to work. It, it, either way, it'll look, I hope it looks good. But I'm going to epoxy, when I'm done, I'm going to epoxy the wire. So to give it strength here and the wood is 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 soaking up the linseed oil real well so I'm not worried about it splitting anymore and what's this isn't as old as I thought because this hammer it's epoxy filled it's a plum hammer so I don't know when this was made but it's newer than I thought it was which it's a uh, roofing hammer it's a shingling hammer but that's my plan and somebody out there probably ain't gonna like my plan but it's my tool my tools my rules I hate to throw away a hammer for that I got a dollar in maybe a penny you know I got between a penny and a dollar in this hammer Whoop! You know what? I may have to use. I may have to use a Dremel. That's drill bit's not going to handle it. Hang on a second. Let me change out. Get to it. All right, ladies and gentlemen, don't laugh at me. My all my drill bits and all my Dremels. I got six Dremel tools here, and all of them got too big of a collar. And all I got to use. Is this wore out hand drill so and it is wore out I keep it around I don't know why I keep it around but obviously I'm keeping it for this for this thing needs work this thing I, I've, I've got it I don't know if I can fix it but it's 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 been used over the decades <laughs> Someone's gonna laugh at me, but hey, it works. It's my tools, my tools, my rules, remember that. This video is gonna be hilarious, I think. Ah, yeah, it's a lot of slop in it. You gotta figure out if I can get the pivot out of it. Yeah, that's going to work. All right. Got to be slow. I'm trying to go. It's catching every once in a while because it's got so much slop in it. Ah, oh, between the, my hat and sunglasses, my glasses, they're bothering me. How much? I need to go a little further. I actually need to find me another one of these that's in good shape. May be handy just to have in a toolbox in the truck or something.
Ah, come on. Out of there. There it goes. Oh, yeah. Does that look about that much in there, I think? That'll be held in with some epoxy. And then bring it down like this. And then come back and wrap it. What do you think? <laughs> I don't know. I'm guessing, guys. All right, let's let's uh, let's see what we come up with. I'll be back in a minute. I need to clean my hands and put my junk up, get my drill bits out of the way. All right, guys, let's see how this is going to work. think this is gonna work not like I plan I need some way I need some way of pulling it tight and bringing it down like this one's loose too loose there. If I start here and then bring the loop, oops, if I bring the loop back through my madness here I I think I know what I want but I'm not sure nails and spooled it. itself somewhere. Yeah, it's one of those extension cord things. Man, oh well. I really need an extra pair of hands. We'll just see what how this goes. This may not work the way I want it. Oh well. I've failed before. Ain't no big deal. Nobody died from it. Yep, I got it. Shoot. Yeah, I made a bigger problem. You know how you make a. I've got to stop. I got in wine. I've got a mess now. All right, I'll be back in a minute. All right, I got my mess undone and I've got it wrapped. I've got a hammer handle there with it wrapped around. So now I can 
keep doing this. Hope this works. You think it would. Man. Uh, if you guys hear the door, the winds, the winds blowing pretty hard here, and it's rattling my door. Even with the insulation and everything, it's still. I thought the door was pretty tight, but man, that wind's tough today. We had winds last week 76 mile an hour was top end that was at my house they had uh, I think we had we had one tornado 12 miles from us and then we had I think we had four within 20 of us if you guys don't know what a tornado is look it up Had one try to kill me three times in one day. That's, that was a sucky day there. All right, let's see. I think, you know, <laughs> I think this might work, guys. It's <laughs> a lot of work. <laughs> Yeah, I could buy a new handle, somebody out there. But you know what? It's epoxied in, and I don't want to do this wire. I think this wire was given to me. So I don't care. I don't want to spend the money. Number one, I won't ever use this thing. For one, I'm not a roofer. I know better. Roofing's hard. I have a lot of respect for rook roofers and concrete guys. Those guys don't get paid enough. That's some hard work. If you've never done it, try it sometimes. You'll understand. You'll know what I'm talking about. You know what? I think I'm winding this too tight. Because I was going to run the wire back through it. Yeah, I think I've screwed up again. Oh well. Like I said earlier, I screwed up before. I'm sure I'm going to screw up again. Ain't no big deal. Ain't nobody died from it. But if this works, it'll be an easy way to fix a hammer. I've actually seen somebody fix a hammer one time. He, he cut a piece of conduit in half, and I'm not sure what size. I think it was three-quarter. He cut it in half and put it over the handle on both sides and put a screw through it on two places, and that's how he fixed his hammer. It was on a job site. Got them by, made it work. If I remember right, that young, that man, he wasn't young, that man had like eight kids, so anything he saved money on, he did. Okay, whoops, over, yeah, like that. Yeah, if anything, it'll look kind of neat. <laughs> Answer. Sore. Oh, don't go that way.
All right, this enough of this. Let me uh, stop where I'm at here because I don't know how long I've been doing this. This video will be long, another one of my long videos. Uh, I'll stop here and then I'll finish winding it up where I'm going to stop and then I'll show you how I'm going to pull it back through. All right, guys, that's where I'm going to stop. Now, let's see if I can do this. Yeah, I think I've got it too tight now. Let's see if I can loosen a little bit. Stand up, maybe and do this. Might have been better just to drill a hole here and tight and epoxy it in place down here. Because I am having a very hard time pushing this through and I've got everything. I've got all my wires un... Shoot. Yeah, now it's bulging up right there. It's not smooth like it is right there. <sighs> Oh well, I show my mistakes, and I am going to think that's what I want to do. I'm just going to, I'm just going to pin it like down at the bot, down near the end here, and just epoxy it. Now I've got to rewrap what I've just messed up. start to wrap this tight all right guys I'll be back in just a little bit with what I've done all right guys here's my redneck thinking I've got it clamped got it real tight and then I'm going to drill me a hole right there and pin this in there and then epoxy it. Make sense? I hope so because it doesn't to me, but that's what I'm going to do. All right. Using this stupid thing here. I really need to fix this thing now that I've used it and I've never used it. In that junk I bought a while back. Oh well, you don't need to see me drill this. Let me drill this and then I'll show you what I get there. Alright guys, I've got my epoxy ready and this is that uh, Devcon 2 ton epoxy. It's 2500 PSI. Uh, I use what I like and that's I use that. So I'm going to snip this. it in that see how far it goes in that hole that I drilled oh I need that it's a little short a little 
a little shorter, so. Just a little bit more. All right. Oh, yeah, I gotta get me another one of these. Sorry guys, the neighbor dog come to see me and my wife was bringing them up here to look around. Anyways, get back to this. Now, oh shoot, what'd I do with my little hammer? Alright, stop, think, look stupid, what'd you do? Well how, shoot, it's wrapped around that. Hang on, let me get another hammer here. what I want right there. Now, what I need to do is drop a little epoxy in that hole. And then coat the rest of this. Ooh, slow down, slow down epoxy. Slow down, slow down, whoa. This might be a dumb video, but I don't care. My tools. You guys can do what you want with your tools. I'm just giving you an idea. If it works, it works. If it doesn't, well then, what the hell. No loss if it didn't work, right? It's my tool. If it doesn't work on my tools, don't do it on yours. Oh, once I released it, I could feel the it spraying. Oh, okay. Cool. I like it then. Now... really need to put a drop right in that. Well, oh, sounds like the highway patrol's in pursuit again. You can hear them hauling ass down the highway. Or the interstate, I guess I shouldn't say that like that. But that's what they were doing. This is going to work. <laughs> See, one of you guys, I, I know somebody out there is going to think this is stupid, but uh, it's a it's a hammer. It didn't work. I mean, it was. I'm not going to replace the handle. It's it, for one. This is not a tool I will use for very often, anyways. I won't use it as a roofing hammer that's for sure I don't know about you guys that's hard work all right Pretty even all the way around. That should work. <laughs> it's really silly. I don't know. I mean, if you're in a bind, you can pretty much do whatever you need to fix your tools. But it's a worthless hammer. It's not that I would buy and drill all this out to buy it. A handle like this 
Uh, so, I don't know, it'll make a good uh, deconstruction hammer. That's probably what I'll use it for. It's been, I, didn't, I gotta fix that too. But, let's uh, set this up for a few, it takes, I think it takes like 30 minutes. This stuff sets in, uh, hang on a second, hang on, hang on. 30 minute set time, eight to 12 hour cure time, but I usually let them set well over a day before I start playing with them. And I got, man, I, re I got a lot of epoxy on the wood here. I want it a little cleaner than that. But anyways, there you go, guys. Yeah, you know, cheap redneck way of fixing something. I'll see if it holds up. I'll uh, come back in the next couple days. I'm going to have to work a lot the next few days, but after that, I'll come back and clean this up, straighten that part of it. I might even wire wheel it and just paint. I think this was painted black. That's what it looks like. It's got black paint on it. All right. Be back. All right, guys. Don't know what... Uh, it's been over a week. I've had to work so much that I uh, haven't been able to get back to it. This is hard as a rock. This is... This epoxy is going to work out pretty good. Uh, I'm sure somebody out there will think it's redneck, but... Hey, it's going to be a usable hammer. I guess I'm going to clean this up. I mean, it's, if you look at the edge, it's beat up pretty bad. And I'm not going to use it as a roofing hammer. I am actually going to use this as a deconstruction hammer. Tear down some walls. I've got some uh, plaster and lath walls at work. When I say plaster, it's, like it's not even lath. Uh, lath it's chicken wire drywall stucco it's uh it's a really weird construction I, I don't see it very often they did it in the 50s late 50s anyways this will make a good tear up wall hammer let's put it that way i think i'm gonna sharpen this up clean this edge just a little bit and i thought about cleaning this up and just painting it black it's uh, there's no need to make it any better. You can see it's it's been damaged. It's just I'm just gonna abuse this hammer anyways. Uh, it's epoxied in, and now that this is epoxied, it's uh, and the handle now is really boy that uh, boiled linseed oil made this thing's. I don't know what it does, what that linseed oil actually does, it soak it in, but. The handle's not as splintery, or uh, I don't know how to, it's, it's not dried out like it was, I can tell you that. So, let's uh, put this on the belt sander and see what we can do with it. Trying to get it even, and it really doesn't need to be sharp. I don't. I just want a nice clean edge, just for me. And then, uh, like I said, I'll probably wind up using this at work. So I'll finish this out, and then we'll get to painting it. All right, guys. I'm just gonna. Wasn't going to, but can't help myself. I'm just gonna run it over the wire wheel just to clean it up. 
looks like, I don't know, looks, I thought it was black, but it's tar. So it was used as shingling hammer. Yeah, clean it up a little bit, see what it looks like. Sometimes I do get carried away polishing things and got to thinking about it when I was cleaning the wire brush on this I thought I'm gonna use this thing there's no reason to make it all nice and pretty sometimes I do get carried away I present you a plum roofing hatchet still got good waffling on the back side of it I cleaned up the face, nah, not 100%, but I say the face, the uh, axe head part of it. Uh, I'm gonna dull the crap out of it. I could have, and I got to thinking, I, I needed something like this last week. Uh, I was tearing out part of an x-ray wall. Uh, for you guys that don't know a lot about sheetrock, your x-ray rooms, a lot of where they shoot x-rays, the rooms, the sheetrocks, line the back of it's lined with eighth inch three sixteenths depending on uh direction of the x-rays depending on where they put lead on the back of the sheetrock and it goes up seven feet and i had to tear out some sheetrock and i could have used this to tear out some of that sheetrock this would have made a great demolition hammer uh and you got to remember the facility i am it's a fire rated facility so there's no wood construction so it's steel studs 26 gauge 20 gauge depending on ceiling height there's a lot of factors anyways i could use this to rip out some of that lead line sheetrock and mind you a uh, four by nine or four by ten sheet a 5 8 fire rated with leaded sheetrock weighs around 400 pounds so the weight can vary depending on how much lead's on the back, how thick. But yeah, so there's no need to make this a trophy piece, art piece, or, you know, something fancy. I just need a good used tool. I got put a buck in this or something. I don't remember what I got in this, but I know it's not much. The handle itself was had some chips chunks missing and then it was cracked i think the cracking is due mainly to because it was dry uh now soaking it with the linseed oil as much as i have made it the handle feels great it's really smooth now doesn't catch your hand like it was before and this epoxy and wire should hold uh i went back and watched there was a gentleman uh it's kind of interesting video where he wraps his with wire and pulls it back through and tightens it, which that's what I was trying to do. And I, I screwed up. I know I did. I wasn't doing it right. So I just wrapped it, pinned it here and here, epoxied it in, in place, and it works. It works. It's For me, it's going to be just fine. Uh, there's not, I mean, if I do break the handle, I'm probably going to chunk it. It's I don't like these that are epoxied. I if I would have saw that in the beginning, I probably wouldn't have bought it, just because this is not repairable quickly. Uh, on a, I'm I'm used to fixing hammers on job site. That's why I don't glue my heads, my shims in my heads when I'm when I redo a hammer because if I'm using it on a job site, you can quickly fix it and not have to drill it out and, and beat the head off the handle or cut that. Sometimes the head just comes loose and you need to reset it. 
you don't need to cut the handle off, buy a new handle, you can reuse the old handle. They work loose. It's, that's just the way it is. And you can fix them on job sites. Now an ax, I understand why I, I would agree with gluing the shims in. But on a hammer, especially a hammer like now, now a large sledgehammer, yeah, yeah, I can see where you want to glue a head on, or a shim in the head. Anyways, enough of that. Plum hatchet, that's all I'm going to do. Nothing fancy, it's a good use tool. I'm going to use it. I'm going to abuse it. Uh, my tools, my rules. You know, I'm just showing you what I do. Uh, you guys out there have your own things and there's some of you out there that are tool snobs and think everything should be real nice and pretty. Well, tools made to use, that's what they're for. They're not made to hang on a wall as an art piece. If they are, you got more money than you have time. The, that's just it. You know, if you, I work for a living. My tools make me money or save me money. It's that simple. It makes my job easier. So the better the tools, the more the tools, whatever, anything I can have to make my job easier, I do. Anyways, that's my soapbox. Ladies and gentlemen, subscribe if you would. Give me a thumbs up, thumbs down. If you give me a thumbs down, tell me why. I mean, at least I understand your point of view. I, I'd listen to a point of view. I hate it when people give me a thumbs down and don't tell me why. If you don't like it, tell me you don't like it, and then don't watch my video. That's real easy. All right, guys. Y'all have a good day.